What is up, guys? I am that boarding school dude. Welcome to another episode. Today, we're heading up to Avon, Connecticut. Yep, that's right, Avon, Connecticut, home of Avon Old Farms. Let's go. Okay, guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, as usual, please like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and absolutely fucking smash that notification bell. I really appreciate it, and it totally helps out. So thanks so much. Okay, so Avon Old Farms. Man, you know, when I've seen uh, information and videos on this school, it kind of makes me think of the very first boarding school that I went to. It's all boys. The colors have like maroon in it. This place seems like a lot nicer. Oh, I was just talking about you. You look like you want to get something out, son. Oh my God! There is one thing about an all-boys school that I am uh, always slightly hesitant about, and I'm going to get to that in a second. But before I do, let me just tell you that this video is brought to you by Vita Soul Eyewear. Vita Soul Eyewear, pretty much the coolest fucking sunglasses on the planet. If you haven't checked it out, you got to go to their website right away, VitaSoulEyewear.com. Let me show you. I got another pair. Boom. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking good. I really am. These are called the Muirs. M-U-I-R. Muir. 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 I don't know. I just think they're cool. They're all wood. And guess what? Every time you purchase a pair of Vita Soul sunglasses, they will plant a tree in your name. Yep. Pretty cool. They feel really good too. I mean, you ever pick up some like sunglasses sometimes and they just feel like a big pile of shit in your hand? Well, guess what? These don't. These actually feel really quality. Pretty good. I would check it out. Again, VitaSoulEyewear.com. They're good. So back to Avon Old Farms. Uh, you know, about 400, 450 kids go there. It's all boys. 75% of the students board. 15% of the student body uh, are uh, students of color. About 15% international students. Average SAT score is around 1290. I was kind of surprised about that. I thought it would actually be a little bit higher. It will cost you roughly $65,000, $66,000 a year to go there. 45% of the kids are on financial aid. I should say their families are on financial aid. And the average financial aid package is around $28,000. So yeah, man, not cheap. You're still probably gonna be on the hook for around 40K a year. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Another endowment is around 55, 56 million dollars. So anyway, look, Guys, I've been, you know, a, a little behind the ball. I usually, you know, upload videos more often. I'm coaching now. I just got a lot of lot going on, you know. My my little guy he plays baseball. Naturally, I'm the head coach. I have talent like that, uh, amongst other things. And so, would I like to be uploading more? Yes. Do I get your emails? Do I get your DM saying, "Do this school, do that school, do more"? But, but you know, look. If I could carbon copy myself, the world would be a better place. I can't. Uh, that's just a fact. Maybe in the future, I will freeze my skull. And when they figure out how to bring me back to life and copy me, maybe I'll be able to pump some more out. Until then, you're out of luck. So deal with it. Anyway, let's get right into it. Avon Old Farms. Okay, I have not seen this, by the way. This one is called Discover Avon Old Farms School. It's 
cool. I like that. I like that. Let's, let's rewind there real quick. Let's take a look at that. Classy. Looks cool. It looks a little, um, what's the word? Like dystopian almost like, <laughs> like this is the school you go to at like the end of the world or something like that. Like everyone's wearing gray and blue suits and like, I don't know. I have like very mixed feelings about this. Like, don't get me wrong. This place looks really fucking cool already, but just everybody looks the same. You know, I guess that's kind of how it is. You know, thinking back, I mean, I'm probably 30, almost 30 years removed from my first boarding school. We had to wear suits, clean shaven every day. Let's keep going. Let's see if it's like that. We are Oh, I like that. I like that there's an American flag hanging up. A little, little bit of patriotism. A lot of these schools don't have that. A diverse community dedicated to inspiring boys. Nice. Compelled by a mission of learning and service. I like that. Devoted to every boy. Every challenge. <laughs> He's like, here, smell this petri dish. It's filled of COVID nineteen and other unknown like viruses and bacteria. And his every breakthrough. Because we learn in a place unlike any other. This is Riddle's village, which stands the test of time. Okay, so <clears throat> that is a homage, if you will, to the founder of Avon Old Farms. And I believe she was an architect. And I think that's why all of the buildings at Avon Old Farms like look really cool. Um, anyway, whatever. Indestructible school for boys. We at Avon first. We aspire and we persevere. Whether we are igniting a passion, breaking down barriers, or defying the odds. We advance because we know who we are. We transform. I'm just going to come right out and say this, that, you know, although I'm not seeing a lot of you know, this is a this is a video where you're not seeing a lot of like stats pop up and it's like a tour. It just kind of gives you like this like real like cerebral kind of feeling. I actually am like really enjoying this. And it's weird because like in the back of my mind, I keep thinking this is an all boys school. I know what it's like to go to an all boys boarding school. It can get really tough at times. Um, but I'm really liking this. Boys into men. Boys into men. Man, in this type of like world that we're living in and like the, you know, pacification of men, the media is kind of like drilling it into like the youth skulls that like being masculine is bad. And, you know, man, I kind of really am like absorbing this message. I really like it. And to prove just how exceptional boys can be. Cool uniforms, too. See, it is the way in which we differ that makes us stronger. Our scholarship that makes us thoughtful. Our integrity that guides us. Our sportsmanship that makes us fair. Let's go! Our brotherhood that unites us. All 
This video is fucking awesome. Generation after generation, class after class, we are a podium. Let's fucking go! This bond lasts forever. The past, the present, the future. It starts here. God, dude, let me just say this. <sighs> let me tell you something. I watch a lot of these marketing videos from all these boarding schools all over the country and abroad. That was a perfect 10 for what it is. For what this school is, that was a perfect 10. Avon Old Farms, whoever produced this video for you, let me tell you something. You should pay them double because that was fucking awesome. It just was. Let's check out another. Okay, so this one is called Avon Old Farms Best Boarding School for Boys. Let's see. Strike the drum head. Fly the banner. Youth leaps forward like a wave. Sweeping all that's bad before it. Okay, clearly whoever produced the last video produced this one as well. I can kind of tell from like the cinematography. Build the future. That room's awesome. For the brave. Ward the foolish. Guard the prudent. Seen a lot of sports. Um, as an aside, I will tell you that some notable alumni are the Hall of Fame hockey player, Brian Leach, New York Rangers. He went to Avon Old Farms. Uh, George Springer, Houston Astros. Uh, I believe World Series MVP. He went to Avon Old Farms as well. Um, anyway, let's keep going. Strike out boldly for the right. Keep this land the home of freedom. Oh, yeah. Where all men may take delight. I would love to know like the core values of this school. You know, it's like, it's like resonating with me. I'm hearing things like, you know, where boys grow into men, home of the brave to keep freedom free. Like, man, is this like the antithesis of like the, like super liberal, like Exeter Andover, you know, places i think it is guys comment down below make our school and make our nation into places we're secure lock homes will find a haven and where peace will long endure Now we gather, men of Avon, men of honor, men of will. Set our hearts. Nice campus. On the mountains. Eight hundred acres, by the way. And our destiny fulfill. You know, if it wasn't for it being all boys, I would say that like 
This school has the best videos. I, I, I think they have the best videos out of any school I've ever seen. Um, and it's really surprising. I was kind of going into this thinking like, you know, they have a small, relatively small endowment compared to like some of the other New England schools. And I'm just getting blown away. I mean, man. Man. I just kind of think to myself, and this is the power of marketing videos, because you think to yourself like, wow, this is the type of school that really represents A. But then you go to school there and you have a possibly totally different experience than what the marketing videos kind of put forth. Does that make sense? I think it does. Um, now I have heard that the stereotype of Avon Old Farms is kind of like frat boy central. Like if you are going to go to college and join a frat, then like your prerequisite to that is like going to Avon Old Farms. Um, I think that's kind of unfair to be honest with you, because just because it's all boys, I don't really think that that's, you know, like a fast track to like frat dumb. Um, but yeah, let's watch one more quick one. I didn't know too much about prep schools before I was looking here, but I was kind of just looking for a place that I knew I could see myself. It's just a great place to be, to try new things and, and to find out who you really are. Many of the boys here are actually very encouraging of their brothers to go and try different things through athletic, social environments, every day in the classroom. It really teaches you to be an independent person which sets you on a great course to achieving your goals in college. There's so many opportunities that you will find something that you enjoy and that you're good at. You come in as a freshman, you try to find yourself. And by the time you graduate as a senior, you found who you are and you want to be. Yeah, well, you know, naturally, when you're a senior, you run the show. You run the show. As a freshman, you're just kind of like a pimple-faced nerd. That is unless you're good at sports. If you're a freshman and you can play varsity sports, um, you know, you're not that much of a pimple face nerd. I was a freshman and played varsity sports, so, you know, I was cool. Nice weight room. schools you see where the captain of the football team also happens to be an accomplished pianist or where you see the star on the lacrosse team one day also reciting a poem in front of the entire school we answer. We combine challenge and opportunity with great support and love. We think the combination of a wonderful chance for you to be your best self and at the same time for you to reach higher levels than you ever thought possible is in fact a reality each and every day. Welcome, 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 I need to pour myself a little uh, Starbucks blonde. Collect my thoughts here. And no, this video is not sponsored by Starbucks. I think if Starbucks actually even reached out to me and tried to sponsor this video, I would tell them to eat shit. Back to Avon Old Farms. I was really not expecting those videos to be that good. At all. Now, that being said... Obviously, I always think there's room for improvement. You guys will probably come and reach back out to me at some point and say, you didn't see the dining hall. You didn't see the 
dormitories. You didn't see this. You didn't see that. I did actually see them. I didn't post it on here. Um, you're more than welcome to check it out for yourself. There's a YouTube video where a guy kind of um, a student goes through a day in the life at Avon Old Farms, carries around a video camera, whatever. It's fine. You can check it all out yourselves. I'm not going to bore you with it. It's like a half an hour long. Too long for my channel slash show. But it's good. It's cool. I checked it out. It's fine. Going to an all-boys boarding school such as Avon Old Farms definitely has its drawbacks. And but it definitely has its advantages as well. Number one is that your, your grades are going to go up at a single sex school. I don't care what anybody says. There's no distractions and everyone is just kind of on the same playing field. When I went to an all guys boarding school, my grades went through the roof, but they went through the roof at the expense of not developing socially around the opposite sex. I've covered this before. I feel that it's kind of important to go to a, to have some sort of like integration or co-ed experience, even if it's after school, you know, that's the problem with boarding is that when you're there, especially if you're an international student, you're just around guys all the time. It can get a little weird, you know, not in the beginning, but as the school year drags on, you know, you can definitely tell that like, you know, some guys just don't know how to act around the opposite sex, but you know that going into this, you know, going to this school. So, man, I'm really impressed. I really am. That SAT score, the average SAT score is a little low, though. I would think that, like, it should at least be in the 1300s. And I don't think that that's a stretch to say. I think that just about all of you guys would probably agree with me that if you're going to be shelling out upwards of 40 grand on average for high school, you better be in the 1300s for average SAT score. Okay. Anyway, let's get right to it. The dude score. That boarding school dude, Avon Old Farms. I, sorry, super impressed. I'm going. I'm going nine point six. Nine point six. Those were the best marketing videos I've ever seen, hands down. I had absolutely no idea that it was going to be like that. Wow. I mean, totally amazing. Architecture of the campus looks great. I am personally not a huge fan of like formal dress it's not like my favorite thing it wasn't my favorite thing when i was like 14 15 years old it's not my favorite thing to be clean shaven every day that's a pain in the ass but look you already know that's what their expectations are going into it circling back this is more about the marketing videos i thought they were great i would give the marketing videos a 9.9 .9. i mean they just they really made me feel something pretty awesome i mean thinking to myself wow like could I imagine my my kid going there? I think I could. Like, I think I could. I really hope that like their sport teams are unbelievably dom dominant. Like I really hope so. I feel like that would bring them like a lot of like school pride too. Just smashing these other schools, just being pissed off that the other schools get to go to school with girls and you know, yeah. So, guys, thanks so much. I know it was a quickie, but um. Very impressed. Stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be great. See you soon.